Hi guys, my name is Jamil Ahmed. So welcome back. As you know that we were discussing about the biochemistry central dogma in the previous lecture. Let's suppose that we were discussing about uh, central dogma, central dogma, and you know that central dogma consists of two things. The first one is the uh, uh, DNA replication, mm -hmm. DNA uh, replication. And second thing, it was about gene expression. Gene expression. So, in the previous chapter, we discussed about the replication, DNA replication. So, it's okay. And in this chapter, you know that we are discussing about general expression. The general expression further consists of two things. The first one is the transcription. And second is the translation okay but in this chapter we are discussing about transcription and in next chapter we will discuss about translation so in this chapter we are discussing about transcription and in previous lecture we discussed about the overview of the transcription and also we see the comparison of rna polymerase enzyme which is used in transcription so comparison of rna polymerase in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes but in this lecture we will see we will discuss about transcription in detail so let's continue that what is the transcription first we will discuss about the definition of transcription that what is the definition of transcription what is transcription transcription is the synthesis of rna is the synthesis of rna strand using the dna set strand as a template with the help of an enzyme that enzyme named rna polymerase so what is the definition what is the definition of transcription transcription definition is this that synthesis of rna synthesis of rna using the dna as a template with the help of enzyme that enzyme named rna polymerase enzyme okay so this was about the definition but how basically this 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 uh, how basically this process happens so we are going to discuss about that so let's continue with that let's suppose that this is the double stranded dna molecule so this is a double stranded dna molecule you know that dna is a double stranded molecule so we are continue that this is a double stranded dna molecule one strand is the template strand and second strand is the coding strand so this one strand is the template strand and this one strand is the coding strand and the next thing you must remember that is this that template strand is going to be transcribed every time and coding strand is not going to be transcribed so remember this concept that only one strand of dna will be transcribed and that is a template strand coding strand will not transcribe into rna only one strand is going to be transcribed that is a template strand of the dna molecule so and this template strand will be transcribed with the help of one enzyme that enzyme named rna polymerase so what i have said i said that dna is a double standard let's suppose that this is a double standard dna molecule so one is a template strand and one is the coding strand and template strand is going to be transcribed every time and coding strand is not going to be transcribed okay and this template strand is going to be transcribed going to be transcribed with the help of one enzyme that enzyme named rna polymerase okay i think it's it's, it's clear for you so no uh, no here here arises a question that i am saying that dna is a double strand molecule one is a template strand second is the coding strand template strand is going to be transcribed with the help of rna polymerase but coding strand is not going to be not going to be transcribed but how can we recognize that which one is a template strand and which one is a coding strand here arises a question that how can we recognize that which strand is a template strand and which strand is a coding strand as you know that as you know that the strand which is going to be transcribed that named as the template strand the strand which is going to be transcribed that named as the template strand and strand which is not going to be transcribed that named, named as the coding strand and you know that the transcribed the strand which is going to be transcribed that is every time every time read from 3 prime to 5 prime so the strand which is going to be transcribed that is every time read from 3 prime to 5, 5 3 prime to 5 prime either it is a transcription or it is a replication so we are going to transcribe which strand template strand 
so uh, the template stand is read from 3 prime to 5 prime so check which one is the 3 prime to 5 prime so this one is the 3 prime to 5 prime it's mean that this is a transcribed stand and the stand which is going to be transcribed that named as the template stand so we can say that this one is the template stand and the uh, and the rest one the second one is the coding stand i think this concept is understandable for you i said that transcribe the stand which is going to be transcribed it is every time read either it is a replication or transcription it is read from 3 prime to 5 prime so this is a transcribed strand and uh, the stand which is going to be going to be transcribed that is a template stand so this is the template stand which is going to be transcribed from 3 prime to 5 prime and the rest or second one is the coding stand so we will move on i have said that rna polymerase is going to be is going to transcribe the template stand it will read the template stand and it will synthesize the rna product but how this is possible really how this is possible as indicated here that rna polymerase which is an enzyme it will read the template stand from 3 prime to 5 prime end and it will synthesize the rna product rna product from 5 prime to 3 prime from 5 prime to 3 prime it is so easy and it says that this rna polymerase will use the nucleotides which nucleotides atp adenosine triphosphate gtp gu uh, guanosine triphosphate cytidine triphosphate and uridine triphosphate but basically what concept is behind this one you know that uh, let's suppose that this is an rna polymerase enzyme rna polymerase enzyme this enzyme basically will recognize this promoter region let's suppose that this is a promoter region on the dna double strand molecule this is a dna double strand molecule one uh, one is a template strand second is a codex strand and here is a promoter on the dna double strand molecule so this dna double molecule is going to be transcribed into rna product so here comes the RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase will recognize the promoter. Promoter will act just like an airport. It will act like a airport. Let's suppose that these are the two strands. This strand is the template strand and this strand is coding strand. So this is a template strand and it is going to be transcribed. So it is going to be transcribed and this is a promoter region of that template strand and this uh, region is going to be transcribed okay so this is the promoter so now this is a, a rna polymerase rna polymerase will come and this promoter will act just like a airport so this rna polymerase will land on the promoter it will land on this promoter and it will start reading the template strand and now it will start reading the template strand from 3 prime to 5 prime so it will start reading the this one template strand from 3 prime to 5 prime and it will synthesize the product rna strand from 5 prime to 3 prime so basically this is a concept but how it forms the new strand from template strands it forms the new strand uh, from template strand by reading let's suppose that it will read that here is a adenine so it will add here here must be the t thiamine but you know that in rna thiamine is missing uracil is present so adenine uracil and if there is a cytidine and then it will add the c and here is a g g c and if here is a t it will add here a so in this in this way it will form the another rna product but by using the nucleotides as you know that one strand is formed by either it is a rna strand or it is a dna strand that strand is made up by small subunits units these units are nucleotides this is the one nucleotide this is the second nucleotides these nucleotides will combine will bind with each other in this way and they will form one strand of either it is a dna strand or it is a rna strand so they will form one strand and this strand is formed by by these nucleotides either it is the adenosine triphosphate guanosine triphosphate cytidine triphosphate and uridine triphosphate these will add with each other and they will form the they will form the rna product but with the help of template strands this rna polymerase will read this strand and will form the complementary anti-parallel rna product okay by using this it will read in 3 prime to 5 prime direction and will synthesize the rna product from 5 prime to 3 prime direction by using these atp gtp ctp utp nucleotides but so now uh, second thing is that 
प्लीज लीव दिस पॉइंट प्लीज लीव दिस पॉइंट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इट आफ्टर आफ्टर दिस वन फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस वन एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट ओके सो प्लीज कम हेयर इट सेज दैट आर एन ए प्रोडक्ट इज कंप्लीमेंट्री एंड एंटी पैराल टू टेम्पलेट स्टैंड so first complementary we are going to discuss this point that rna product is complementary as you can see that uh, yes it is complementary adenine uh, uh, uracil and here you can see that c g g c t a so mean that these bases are complementary to each other therefore template strand is complementary to rna product this is the first thing and second one says that and this is the anti parallel as well to the template strands anti parallel mean that you can see that this is the 3 prime end but this is the 5 prime end this is the 5 prime end and this is the 3 prime end so mean that these both are anti parallel to each other as well so these are complementary and anti parallel to each other so now please come here and we are going to discuss about this point that no primer is required in transcription please remember please remember in replication you know that in replication dna is a double stranded something like that and then it will opens up let's suppose it is a replication for please remember in the previous chap chap chapter we discussed and it will form the new strands it will form the new strands each each strand will form its own new strand in this way daughter strands but you know that please remember for the formation of new strands for the synthesis of new strands these strands needs are in a primers these strands needs are in a primers but this is replication in transcription no primer is required primer is required in replication and no primer is required in transcription please remember this point this is a very important mcq so now we will move on i have just here discussed about the promoter that rna polymerase will recognize the promoter a, a promoter will act just like a airport so it will come on the airport and will start the synthesis of rna product using the template strand um, uh, using the template strand so it will read the template strand and will synthesize the rna product but what is the promoter the promoter is just is just like a airport promoter is not going to be transcribed the first concept you must remember that promoter is just a airport so this rna polymerase will come on the this rna polymerase will come on the promoter and it will start the replication from this point from this point from this one not this one is not going to be transcribed so promoter is not going to be transcribed the transcription place is plus 1 and it is going to be transcribed a uh, promoter is not going to be tra transcribed so rna polymerase will not transcribe the promoter it is just like a airport and the second thing about promoter that promoter precedes gene what does mean precedes gene what does it mean precedes gene as you know that let's suppose that is a double stranded dna or or a single gene or a single gene Sing gene is a, also a double stranded dna molecule but let's suppose that this is a gene 1 and here is a gene 2 and here is a gene 3 and now we are discussing the transcription of gene 1 so we are discussing the transcription of gene 1 so this promoter will come before that gene which is going to be transcribed therefore it is called as the precedes gene mean that it comes before the gene which is going to be transcribed so it will come before that gene and it will start the transcription of that gene okay because transcription starts after promoter next is the binding site yes it is a binding site for the rna polymerase rna polymerase will come and it will bind with the promoter and the last thing that it is a double stranded yes it is a, it is attached to both strands either it is a coded strand or it is a template strand it is attached to both strands but it will cause the transcription of only one strand that strand is the template strand as you know that only template strand is going to be transcribed and coded strand is not going to be transcribed so it was just a little bit thing about promoter so now transcription has been started and elongation has been occurs but now transcription ends at terminator just like that promoter as like that promoter is a initiator of the transcription that promoter will start the transcription same like that there is a terminators just like that promoters at the end of the gene so here is the promoter Uh, sorry here is the terminator and uh, rna polymerase when will see the promoter it will start the transcription but when rna polymerase will see the 
terminator it will finish it will ends up the transcription so in this way transcription will end so it was little bit about the transcription but but no i i would like to discuss about coding stand something about coding stand as well as you know that template stand is going to be transcribed so it was all about template stand but now coding stand is not going to be transcribed so now we will discuss little bit about coding stand coding stand second name is also known as the anti template stand mean that it is opposite to template stand so it is not transcribed as you know that and second thing is that it is identical to rna product except uracil ethamine i am going to explain this point so it is identical to rna product as you can see that as you can see that rna product is complementary and anti parallel to template stand and coding stand is also complementary and anti parallel to template stand but look at look at here but look at here here is a t so there must be uh, uh, a t c g g c t a so please look here uh, i am going to see about anti parallel so this is the five prime end and this is the five prime end this is a three prime end this is a three prime end of coding region coding region uh, sorry coding stand so this is the identical to each other and see about complementary this is the a a c c g g t u u and t these are there here here, here is the exception but these are complement not, not complementary as well so these are identical here as well and identical here as well so mean that coding stand and rna product both are identical to each other except uracil instead of thymine as you as you know that as you know that in rna product uracil is present instead of thymine so in rna uracil is present and in dna thymine is present as coding stand is the stand of dna therefore here is a thymine and uh, as uracil is the part of the rna strand so here is a uracil present so this was the little bit exception about that so now i would like to discuss a last concept about uh, 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 one more concept about transcription not a last one but uh, one more concept that is the upstream and downstream so what is the upstream and downstream as i have indicated here as well that this is the upstream and this is a downstream so upstream so now i am going to take the baseline reference point the coding strand so let's suppose that this is the coding strand upper one so i have take the coding strand as a baseline so anything towards five prime end of coding strand that is called the upstream as you know that this is the five prime end and this is the three prime end so anything which is towards the five prime end of the coding strand that is called the upstream and anything which is towards the three prime end of coding strand that is called the downstream so anything towards the three prime end of the coding strand is called the downstream as i have indicated here but now i would like to explain next uh, next point as well that if we take the promoter as a reference point if we, if we, if we say that here is a promoter and promoter is a reference point promoter is the zero point then anything which is on the left side of the promoter on the left side of the promoter that is the upstream and anything which is on the right side of the promoter that is the downstream okay this is the another concept but now i have also uh, also indicate here that upstream are indicated by minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 uh, uh, up to minus 10 and downstream is indicated by plus 2 plus 3 up to plus 10 but what is this what means this plus 1 or minus 1 and what are these why are these indicate uh, why are these indicate so the plus 1 means this plus 1 means the first base the first base of rna product if let's suppose that this promoter is the zero point promoter is the zero point and then you know that promoter is not going to be transcribed so as promoter is not going to be transcribed so this is the zero point but transcription is start from plus 1 point so from where transcription is started uh, at that point first base will be added at rna stand so plus 1 mean first base or plus 1 mean first nucleotide on rna product so plus 1 mean first base or first nucleotide on rna product plus 2 mean second plus 3 mean third one plus 4 one four, plus 4 mean fourth one nucleotide or fourth one base and plus 1 comes after the promoter 
so i would like to ask the question that tell me the point tell me the point at which transcription started of template strand what is that point promoter plus one plus two or minus one uh, exactly plus one because zero point is the promoter promoter is not going to be transcribed so transcription will not start at promoter and transcription is not going to be start at minus one uh, because transcription will start from promoter to terminator so promoter to terminator so transcription will start in this way not in this way here is a upstream that is in minus one but it will go towards the terminator so it will start from plus one because plus one comes after the prom uh, comes after the promoter and comes towards the terminator so it will continue starts at the plus one not on minus one and not on promoter because promoter is not going to transcribe so transcription will start at plus one where first base will be added so the, it means plus one plus two plus three and anything which will comes towards the left side of the promoter which is not going to transcribe that will indicate by the minus one minus two minus 3 up to minus 10 so it does mean plus 1 and minus 1 points so it was a, a, it is a little bit concept about transcription so now we will see about the flow of genetic information genetic information how genetic information flows from dna towards the formation of proteins so so now we will see about that so now flow of genetic information that same that's dna double strand this is the dna double strand molecule one is the template strand as you know that three prime to five prime uh, five prime in strand is the template strand and uh, second strand is the coding strand and template strand is going to be transcribed as you know that and coding strand is not going to be transcribed and template strand is going to be transcribed with the help of rna polymerase rna polymerase will come will see the promoter and it will land on the promoter and will start the transcription of the template strand it will read the template strand from 3 prime to 5 prime end and it will synthesize the uh, messenger RNA RNA product from 5 prime to 3 prime end so this is the DNA strand so this is the DNA strand then uh, RNA polymerase will come and RNA polymerase will cause the transcription it will read the template strand from 3 prime to 5 prime and it will form the messenger RNA product from 5 prime to 3 prime so synthesis the messenger RNA from 5 prime to 3 prime and it will read the template strand from 3 prime to 5 prime so this is the messenger rna product and this messenger rna product is anti parallel and complementary to template strand as you can see that as you can see that that this is the uh, complementary as you can see that is the thiamine adenine adenine uracil cytosine guanine guanine cytosine guanine cytosine cytosine guanine adenine uracil thiamine adenine guanine cytosine mean that these are complementary to each other and anti parallel as well as you can see that that here is a three prime end and it is a five prime end and it is again five prime end and this is the three prime end so it's mean that these are anti parallel to each other as well as you know that now this messenger rna product has been formed and this messenger rna remember that concept that this messenger rna will be formed in the nucleus so it will form in the nucleus then it will moves out from the nucleus and it will come in the cytoplasm and it will move towards the ribosomes and when it will come towards the ribosomes then these ribosomes will translate the messenger rna but this time from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and they will form the protein they will form the amino acids and amino acids is combined with each other and they will form the proteins how this is being going to be translated this is the this is in detail we will we will discuss uh, uh, translation in detail in next chapter but i am going to tell you a little bit concept that you know that each three base pairs on the messenger rna each three base pair on the messenger rna encodes for a single codon so this is a single codon this is a single codon this is a single codon three base pairs are a single codon this is a single codon this is a single codon this is a single codon three base pairs or one single codon will form different amino acids so a u g this is a code for a different amino acid that's named as the methane and c c g this is a code on messenger rna for a different amino acid that's named proline and u a c this is the different code for a 
amino acids that name tyrosine. So these three base pairs or single codons will form different amino acids from 5 prime into 3 prime end. So mean that ribosomes will translate the messenger RNA. That's important that that ribosomes will translate the messenger RNA from 5 prime to 3 prime end and it will form the protein. So these are different proteins and then these proteins will sorry these are the amino acids not proteins. These are the amino acids and these amino acids will form the proteins from NH2 mean that amino end towards the carboxyl end. So this is the concept here as this says that after the formation of messenger RNA in the nucleus by this process by transcription then we as we have explained in the, pre, in the previous slide after the formation of the messenger RNA during transcription in nucleus then messenger RNA will moves out in the cytoplasm and then ribosomes will translate this messenger RNA from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and it will form the amino acids amino acids and these amino acids have different codes as AUG has for methane, CCG for proline and UAC for tyrosine. So single codon or three base pairs will form different amino acids. You can't remember these amino acids as leucine, as leucine, uh, 2022 amino acids. It's, it's very difficult, different codes, uh, two to three codes for one amino acid. So it's very difficult to remember that. But just remember that different codes for different amino acids. So these are codes AUG for methane, CCG for proline and UAC for tyrosine. Then this uh, uh, ribosomes will translate these messenger RNA from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and it will form the amino acids and then these amino acids will synthesize the proteins from amino to carboxyl terminal mean that they will uh, they will form the proteins from amino to carboxyl terminal and they will combine with each other and they will form the protein. So this is the concept behind that but i would like to give two more things that is important it says that dna coding strand is identical to messenger rna except t for u as we have explained in the previous slide that dna coding strand this is the coding strand is identical to messenger rna as you can see that this is the five prime end this is the five prime end this is the three prime end and this is the three prime end meaning that identical to each other if we see about according to the basis then this is the a a G G C C C C G G A A C C mean that both are identical to each other but here is the exception what is that T for U you can see that here is a thiamine in coding strand because coding strand is the strand of DNA and you know that in DNA there is a thiamine instead of uracil and in RNA there is a uracil instead of thiamine so in coding strand there is a thiamine but in messenger RNA there is a uracil so this is a single exception in that but next thing next thing says that DNA template strand is complementary and anti parallel to messenger RNA so simple again that, that concept again this one concept again that this is the template strand this template strand is anti parallel 3 prime and 5 prime and 5 prime and 3 prime and so anti parallel and complementary as you can see that thiamine adenine adenine uracil cytosine guanine guanine cytosine so this is complementary as well but here i would like to give two more concepts that's important in case of mcqs that what is the direction of transcription so what is the direction of transcription as you know that rna polymerase will read the template strand from 3 prime to 5 prime end and it will synthesize the messenger rna from 5 prime to 3 prime end so this is about the direction of the transcription but what is the direction of translation the direction of translation is ribosomes translates messenger RNA from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So this is the direction of translation and there comes question according to the direction of amino acids then what is the direction of amino acid? The direction of amino acids is from amino to carboxyl terminal to form to synthesize the proteins. So it's so simple that what is that how genetic information are flows down that first transcription will occur during transcription RNA polymerase will use the template strand and it will form the messenger RNA in the nucleus which is anti-parallel and complementary to template strands. 
after the synthesis of messenger rna in the nucleus the messenger rna will moves out in the cytoplasm and in the cytoplasm ribosomes will translate this messenger rna from uh, from 5 prime to end to uh, from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and it will form the these different amino acids each amino acid has different code for for itself then these amino acids will synthesize proteins from amino into carboxyl end so these will form the proteins and proteins are the next information next genetic information in the next generation so it was about the flow of genetic information from dna to rna for the formation of proteins mean that how informations are flows from dna to rna for the formation of proteins so now I would like to give two examples about transcription to uh, uh, two MCQs. Uh, I would like to solve two MCQs. Uh, these MCQs are given in the Kaplan book. So now, now uh, I would like to discuss about that. So now this is the DNA double standard molecule and this is the direction of the transcription. Then what is the sequence of the RNA product? So what must be the sequence? First you must know that which strand, so this is a double strand. So which strand is the template strand and which strand is the coding strand because which strand is going to be transcribed template strand. So first you must know that which strand is the template strand and which strand is the coding strand. Okay. So now we know that that uh, strand which is going to be transcribed that is going to be transcribed from 3 prime into 5 prime end. that will be the template strand. So this may be the 3 prime into 5 prime end, and this is also 3 prime into 5 prime end. There are two strands. So how we can see that which strand is going to be transcribed? Then here is given a direction. Here is given a direction. That direction says that transcription occurs from this side to this side. So mean that the strand which is going to be transcribed that is transcribed from this from this 3 prime to 5 prime because transcription occurs from 3 prime to 5 prime end so this strand is our template strand okay now we have recognized that which strand is our template strand how we will see that uh, the strand which is from 3 prime into 5 prime end that is our template strand both strands are 3 prime to 5 prime end, 3 prime to 5 prime end. then but what but then we will see the direction of transcription uh, that is the direction of transcription in this way so this is the direction of transcription and this is 3 prime to 5 prime end so this is going to be transcribed so this is the template strand so please transcribe it and uh, look at this here is a c then here will come the g c G, G, C, T, and here must come the A. Is it okay? No, that's wrong at all because this is a DNA, and you know that in a DNA there is a thiamine, but this is a messenger RNA, and in, you know that in RNA uracil is present instead of thiamine. Instead of uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the, here is a T, so here, so here must come the A. Here must come the A, adenine, and this is the cytosine. Here must come the guanine, and here is the adenine. Then here must come the T. No, not T, because thiamine is missing in messenger RNA, and uracil is present instead of thiamine. So here will come the U. Here is the G. So here will come the C, and here is the C. So here will come the G. So this will be the sequence of the RNA product. But what will, what will be the direction? Five prime to 3 prime because RNA polymerase will read the template strand from 3 prime to 5 prime end and will synthesize the RNA product from 5 prime to 3 prime end. Okay, so now we will move towards that example. What says this example? This example says that that this is a template strand. What is template strand? Template strand is T A G C is a template strand. Then what is the sequence of the RNA product? Here is a given template strand. But we don't know which end is a 3 prime end and which end is a 5 prime end because RNA polymerase will start the reading from 3 prime end. But we don't know that which end is a 3 prime end and which end is a 5 prime end. In this case, three ends was, be, was being given but uh, strands was not being given that which strand is a template and which strand is a coding strand. But in this case, template strand is given. 
it is being it is being told that which stand is a template and which is a uh, code stand code stand is not given at all but he gave, he has given the template stand which is this one but he didn't tell us the direction he didn't tell us the uh, end remember that concept when end are not given then you must assume that the left side is the five prime end when ends are not given then you assume that left side is the five prime end and right side is the three prime end so this is the template stand as you know that transcription starts from so rna polymerase will come and rna polymerase will come and rna polymerase will start the reading template stands from which end to which end three prime end to five prime end and it will synthesize from five prime to three prime so please start reading this is a c g uh, sorry uh, uh, sorry this is a five prime end so this is a five prime end c g g c adenine so it must become the thiamine but not thiamine because this is the rna so uracil so uracil and t and here must come the adenine so this is the five prime to three prime so no, 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 these both are complemented to each other and anti parallel to each other so now we will read the answer not in this way that the uh, what is the answer the answer is g c u a not a u c g the answer is g c a u a u g c is a u c c g is wrong because we are reading three prime to five prime but this is a product and product is always read from five prime to three prime this is the messenger rna product and messenger rna product is always being read from five prime to three prime end so we will read it from five prime to three prime so answer will be the g c u a this is the correct answer and this is the wrong answer a u c g this is the wrong answer because we are reading it from three prime to five prime end and this is a messenger rna and messenger rna is a product and product is always read from five prime to three prime end so answer will be the g c u a okay so these were the two examples about transcription and uh, we should therefore i think that it, it, it must be very necessary to discuss about these examples so it was about transcriptions in detail thank you so much guys in next lecture we will discuss about the next topic